Hi guys, I have an exciting piece of information that I would like to share with you, uh, especially if you use the Outlook Service Extension plus Oxford uh, plugin, and uh, you are trying to keep your data clean and organized. You are trying to make sure that you only log important data and records into your Oxford right from your Outlook. So you now have the opportunity. You can actually you have always had the opportunity, but maybe you are not aware so you can actually decide so you can customize the records that are being logged into your hotspot right from outlook so i'm going to use a sample form that um i will send an email address right from my outlook so i i have this guy i want to use it's a board letter at trial.io so i have my email address you know the moment i input my email address in outlook I already installed my oxford sales extension it's going to ask me if i want to pass this contact into oxford so if i go ahead i send my email to this guy i will just log that email into oxford but i will skip the email aspect i only want to show you how to customize and how to determine the the, the report that you want to send or add into your oxford via a contact so if i click add to oxford of course this contact is now logged into my Oxford right from Outlook, but it doesn't end there. I can actually decide uh, the data or the record that I want to see when I go to Oxford to actually take a look at this guy. And that actually involves me taking like uh, maybe a minute or two to customize and uh, make sure that everything is fine. So you have the about section, the timeline, the views, the stars, the tickets, just like the way they also appear. In Oxford, but before I leave this outlook and go to Oxford, to Oxford, I will quickly customize the about for this guy. So if I go to take a look at this guy at uh, the about section or the, the left sidebar, so this is what I have on the about section or uh, in the contact record inside Oxford. So I have the first name, the last name, the persona, the buying role, and other information that I would like to know about this particular contact. So anytime you or your sales team launch a new contact into Oxford from Outlook, you can tell them to actually spend a minute to customize uh, the data or the record of that particular contact. So by doing that, you're going to make sure that you're only sending important information and data or records that you actually need per contact. And that's where you're going to keep your Oxford or, or your data clean and organized. So in, in this case now, I want to select a persona for this guy. I'm going to just call him an administrator I want to give him a buying role, say it's a decision maker, it's a champion. And I want to go ahead and give him a title. So I'll just call him the CRO for this company. I have his email address already. Uh, the phone number, I'll skip it just because of my time. Then the mobile phone number, the marketing contact status. Of course, I can always change this in Oxford if I, if I want it to be uh, in the marketing. Where the source, I just made this guy uh, what we call at a trade show. So yeah, that is done. I'm just going to click save. So by doing this, I actually make sure that I have customized and I have actually updated the record of this particular contact. And by the time I get to Oxford, I'll, I'm only going to see uh, clean data and organized data. So for you to now know how to customize this, you are going to do this right inside of Oxford. And uh, if you go to Oxford, yeah, this is the guy. This is our guy called uh, Peter. You can see. The about this contact so everything you have on this about this contact section uh, on the left sidebar of your Oxford contact record page is what you also have in outlook you can see that they are the same so if you want to customize what you're going to see on this about section in your outlook you only have to come to the settings page uh, your contact settings page go to settings go to contact and come to this record customization so from this cost, uh, record customization you just click into customize your left side bar then try and customize the pivot view so this is about this account you can see everything if you want to add more just come here search for whatever property you would like to see and then you know that as usual you can always add more section if you want if you want to know more so that would it would depend on your processes or your pipeline or your business intelligence and all of that then uh furthermore is uh, if you come down to this side here you can click into this view all properties and uh, right from this page you can actually organize what you want to see in your outlook so let me know if you have any question let me know if this helps thank you